And Richmond Marathon runners are not the only ones feeling the effects of those supply chain hiccups, which impact the availability of goods and their costs. You've no doubt noticed at the gas pump or the grocery store. Our Brendan King spoke to experts about what's behind the issue and when it could be resolved. The shelves are a little bit clear now for sure. Groceries, used cars and gasoline too high. You definitely do, you know, think twice when you get in the car and make sure that you make, you know, the most of every trip. The Labor Department says inflation has hit a 30 year high, the biggest year over year surge since November 1990. Used car prices are up 26.4% for the year. Energy prices like gasoline up 30% over last year. Groceries like meat, poultry, fish and eggs also up nearly 12% since 2020. We're trying to buy stuff for Thanksgiving and we're like, okay, well, let's go now so we can make sure we get everything that we want. I have to be a little bit more cautious on the amount of items I buy. We're in a you know fortunate situation where we have two people working at home, um, but there are definitely times where we're having to say we need to think about things differently. VCU supply chain professor Jeff Smith calls it an expected consequence of the pandemic. Where the retail federation is actually predicting the best retail year they've ever had. So more goods are being purchased with less available. Supply and demand means we have to pay more for those that are available. Smith warns the situation hurts the low or fixed income families the hardest. If you retired 10 years ago, the last 10 years, you haven't made a dollar more, maybe a small increase, but it's a relative dollar less because of with prices going up and inflationary aspects, your, your money goes less far than it used to go. So you have less disposable or less discretionary income than you've ever had. So now your, your fixed income is even worse for you. Well, I think the big question is how long do you think this will all last? I think as we move into the new year, I envision by March, April, we're kind of at least somewhat back to normal-ish. Professor Smith tells me he blames a rise in demand meets a shortage of raw materials and supply chain bottlenecks. He gives some great advice tonight. He says, do your holiday shopping now if you haven't already started before it is too late.